got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Hey, Kevin, we got us a black national anthem. I don't want that shit. I want that white racist national anthem. Put these niggas in check. Man, you joke way too much. Well, you know I'm joking. We already have a national anthem for everybody. We got the, right? For yeah. white, black, Chinese American, Native yeah. American. Yeah. For everybody. Yeah. I'm Native American. You're Native. Yeah, we was born here. No, I'm a Native American. <laughs> Without the feathers. <laughs> In TVs, of course. Hey, but anyway, um, so this retired police officer. He roasted this Negro. He put that Negro this woke, in his place. Because the woke Negro, he's making this argument, well, as black people, we need to have our own national anthem. Yeah. And the woke police officer. Well, fuck my stuff. The based police officer. I said the woke police officer? Yeah, just calm down. Everybody makes mistakes. You know, we prone to make this mistakes. patriot, yeah, destroys him. This based retired police officer roast destroys this woke progressive Negro, annihilates. Yeah, check it out. That Negro's head still spinning. <laughs> and why, yeah, still, you said that the black national anthem is racist and offensive. Yeah, 100%. Let me finish the quote. I agree. If I ever hear it in public. I'm going to return the favor and talk loudly over it like some folk do in movie theater. Yeah, 100%. Is. Okay? What's racist about the Black National Anthem, lift every voice and sing? What's racist about it? What do we need segregation for? I thought I thought the, the black community was against segregation. What's racist, sir, about the song? Seg segregation is racist. Segregation is what's racist. The author... Doc, the if you... Author, doc, segregation, if this, first of doc, all, is this a dialogue is or is this some kind of log? Is this a monologue or dialogue? Sure you but, even but answer the question. What's racist about the song itself? It's segregation. It's segregation. You are segregating a people. But again, too, that's what liberal whites and uh, yeah, liberal yeah, black loves to do. They love to wind up keeping people separate, and they wind up uh, uh, furthering their own agenda. If you can't see the difference or the, the issue with instead of uniting a people, but we have to have division, you're, you're by definition putting your voices above other people. Do so you understand? Not, uh, uh, well, so let me explain to you, brother, because I... I think you can I think you can get this. The national anthem that was adopted, I think, in 1931 fully, um, written in 1814, uh, the national anthem actually has elements of racism inside of the lyrics. I'm sure, Doc, if you found everything, anthem. if you searched everything, you would find something that would offend somebody. If we're gonna take our time but is that's is a real point. Do, are we going to spend another generation taking mm -hmm. down every movie and statue and cancel? But nobody's taking down the national but, anthem. Oh, it's well, a great thing that black people have a song that they, that they can be proud of as well, so, rather than well, singing a song that's racist against black people. Why shouldn't collectively all come together and then edit it and remove, take a vote? from whites, blacks, Hispanics, all Americans to find out what they think is racist. See, the problem with the black community and the liberals, the Tell liberal whites who fuel the black community is there is this unfortunate settling of, of or unsettling, excuse me, of nonstop repetitive victimhood. Yep. There is nothing that's ever going to be good enough so that people can wind up moving forward. And it's a brilliant tactic. It's a brilliant tactic to wind up keeping people always on edge, always defensive, always segregated. So we always have a problem that you liberals can come in and say, oh, we have the answer to fix it. See, we haven't had a conversation here today. Izzo, let's do this. On the other side of the break. Okay, on the other side of the break. I want to talk about what you call victimhood. And we're going to talk about reparations. Um, I went over with some you still talking about reparations. When you niggas going to give that up? He, that, that cop, the retired cop brought up the Democrats' tactics. One of them is reparations to yeah. keep black people thinking that they're going to get reparations if a Democrat gets in office. Yeah, and this black guy is so disingenuous. His name is Dr. Rashad Richie. He's part of the uh, Young Turks. The questions he was asked was totally irrelevant. It was moot because he's not asking the right questions. He's asking the police officer, what about this song is racist? It's nothing about that song is racist. It's a beautiful song, actually, yeah. but its intent is racist. Yeah, yeah, it it yeah. segregates us. Yeah, it segregates. It puts us in yeah. different groups. The doesn't... song itself by itself. Yeah, it's not, it's not racist. racist. Already said that. Don't steal my thunder. I said that, and I pointed out how disingenuous this Negro is. 
disingenuous, man. He's not looking for the truth. He's not looking to bring Americans together. He's looking to divide us. Yeah. How I know that? It's because he's asking the wrong questions. He's misrepresenting everything. Yeah. These progressives are real good at that, man. Yeah. Um, let me say this. Um, now, at one point in time, there was some <laughs> lyrics in the national anthem that was racist. Yeah. Um, but they've taken it out. And Why? Why, Keith? Why do you take it out? So it's inclusive to all Americans. Yeah. So let me read it. I'm gonna, I mean, it was... Um, it was racist as hell. <laughs> <laughs> let me read it. It's in old English. I, can, I don't know if I can... I can understand modern English. Yeah, look. No refuge could save the hireling and slave from the terror of flight or the gloom of the grave. Damn. <laughs> and the star-spangled banner in triumph doth wave. Over the land of the free and the home of the brave. See, they took that out. Yeah. No about, re- is that no refuge? Yes, yeah, no refuge. No, no refuge could save the hireling and slave. Well, yeah. Yeah. You ain't nothing going to save you, boy. From the terror of flight or the gloom of the gloom. Okay. Yeah, the terror. You, when you're running, you're running. Yeah. That's terror right there. Yeah. I hope master don't get me. And, and they even went as far to say is the grave can't save you. <laughs> Man, them white people was evil back then. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, that was that was part of history. That's part of everyone's history. That's part yeah. of black history in Africa. Blacks were evil to other blacks. They sold us into slavery. Just don't demonize the whites. You got to look at history yeah. and look for what it's worth. They cherry Blacks pick. did the same thing. They hey, cherry pick. Hey, Democrats they cherry, cherry pick the information. They cherry pick. They good at that. Niggas good at cherry picking. They good and, at cherry picking and misrepresenting yeah, what's going on. Yeah, and a retired police officer, he said it was a brilliant tactic. It's not brilliant. Just... Black people it stupid. is. No, Kevin, it's brilliant. No, no, black people stupid. Hey, Kevin, why you got to say that, man? Why? It ain't stupid. They're being lied to. Hey, Keith. <laughs> hey, Keith. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Keith. Stop it. I cleaned it up. Stop. No, hold up. No, no you need to stop. No, I'm going to clean it up some more. All right? I'm going to clean it up some they're more. They're not stupid. They're ignorant. I beg to differ. Look, what if, a, what if you every side you go out in the morning, you pick up the morning paper, right? Let's say the newspaper boy. Throws the, the newspaper right up in the flowers and shit. People still read newspapers? Uh, just a, an example. We just follow along. Newspaper, he throws it in the flowers. Every morning you come out in your robe and you get the newspaper. Every morning I'm waiting for you to get the newspaper and I piss on you and say, hey, it's not piss, it's rain. <laughs> how many times you go to, how long you think it's going to, how long is it going to take you to catch on that I'm pissing on you? <laughs> It's, it's, gonna t- it's not going to take me long. It ain't going to take you long. Why? Because you're not an idiot. You're going to do some research. Man, every time I come out, it's rain. Do you look up, you see this massive mushroom tip pissing all over you. <laughs> wow, he's been lying to me the whole time. I've been coming out here for years, and this dude's just been pissing on me. Well, it's true. Those tactics are very effective. I mean, yeah, it's, yeah, it, it yeah. wasn't Kevin. It was effective. It was a. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was effective against us. Yeah, but guess what? But I opened my eyes up. Yeah, yeah. So it's not stupid. It's no, just no, they're no, no, ignorant, no. and they, they, they. This is what it is. They have too much trust in Democrats and politicians. No, they got too much tr- uh, trust in Negroes. Fifty Cent once said, "Show me what he say." What he say? He said something. What Fifty Cent say? This probably. Fifty Cent came out one of the best quotes I've ever heard. I'm probably going to butcher it. He says, "If you want to see your future, show me your friends." He said okay. something like that. Right. Right. I remember that. So you're around a bunch. That was of some dudes. epic shit, right that there. That's man. That's probably the best quote of all time. Then a nigga came and up. And a Negro that. came up with that. Yep. Nigga came up. See, no, that ain't that. no Negro. That's a nigga. He can nigga came up see, with that. See, that's some hope, man. The black man, they they smart, man. Yes. But it's just an infiltration of dumb Negroes around them. Yeah. It's infected everybody. Yeah. You know? So he said that. Show me your future. Just show me. Just look at your future. Just show me your friends. Yeah. I he think he said that. He I think a white man said that. <laughs> 50 Cent said something like that. He said that. something equivalent to that. Yeah. But I think I got that from a billionaire. Hey, man, you know, shut up, man. We're always... trying to give. You can't give black man no credit. No. Can you? Uh, oh, 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 50 had said something. He said something very similar to that. Yeah. But he was a lot of cursing in it because he's a Negro. <laughs> Hey, Kevin, stop, man. <laughs> man, you niggas know I'm joking with y'all. Trying to lighten the mood. Crack a few jokes. <laughs> Might be a little racist, <laughs> but hey, it's to attract attention. <laughs> hey, no, but seriously. Oh, fuck. <laughs> we don't need no black dance land. Yeah. Hey, we got a new uh, giveaway going. We're going to White F2. man won. 
Negro Zero. We give away an F-250, <laughs> 10,000 cash. Did it win? White man wins again. Go to OfficialHawkTwins.com. Anything you buy from the site gets you automatically into the win. Yeah. These Negroes steadily lose, uh, What? Man. These Negroes. You was going to say the N-word. <laughs> <end word. laughs> no, you stop, you yeah. Negroes. No, these Negroes are steadily losing, man. <laughs>